I'm James Lang, co-founder of Vorpal Board, and I'm going to show you how I set up to host a game of Gloomhaven. First, I lay out the game components and cards that the local player will need. Vorpal Board supports scanning in game components real-time while you are playing, or in advance. For Gloomhaven, all the cards that the remote player needs can be scanned into the system before playing. Components that are scanned into the current game session are available to be used immediately or can be saved and reloaded at a later time. I put together the card scanning box, attach the light puck, and start scanning cards of various sizes, face down, using the Vorpal Board smartphone app. Card secrecy can be maintained as cards are not revealed until they are claimed by remote players. For games that require cards to be scanned real-time during play, the process for scanning them is the same. For components that will not fit into the card scanning box, I can always scan them in using the included card scanning sheet. Now that I have scanned in the cards that the remote player will use, I need to set up my smartphone mounting arm. The arm has a screw clamp with a padded top that attaches securely to your table. Once the clamp is attached, I simply insert the mounting arm. Now I place my smartphone into the cradle at the end of the arm and secure it using the screw. I use the Vorpal Board app to line up my camera and start streaming. Remote players can see everything that my camera is capturing. Now I connect to the Vorpal Board web app using my laptop, PC, or tablet. Start the game session and turn on my video feed. At this point, I'm ready to host the game. Remote players can manage their own cards, communicate via video and audio chat, roll dice, and interact with the board via shared pointers. Remote game night has never been easier.